Click that boot. Water Farmer here. I'm at my messy workbench again today. But today I'm doing something a little bit different again. Putt putt boat. Here's the little boat. Picked it up from the dollar store. Came with a whole bunch of other little toys. And in Canada, it's not a dollar store anymore. Three dollars. This stick tack was actually a dollar. Something else I was going to try was this epoxy glue. It's a two stage. And that was dollar fifty. And of course, for a putt putt boat, you need some nice orange scented candles for two bucks. So I've already taken a pop can. Cut the ends off. I need a straight edge on one side, which is not the straightest, but not bad. In this video, I won't be showing you too much about how I cut all this out, but on my next putt putt boat video, I'll be getting into a lot more detail about it, so keep your eyes open. Subscribe. Hit the bell. So this is basically what you have now. So here's the stick tack. This is one method. And the other method is to use the epoxy glue. And today, I'm going to try this method and I'm going to see how long that little putt putt engine is going to hold up with just this. stick. It looks so easy when you watch someone else do it. Give me enough for the whole rest of it right there. Okay, that will do it. Snipping that out. So you need to have this end open right here. The video I saw, he used uh, just drinking straws. So I just got some tubes off an engine. I didn't want to use the drinking straws, and I figured this might work. So I just got to roughly guesstimate how far in I need to make these. Probably about there by the time it gets into the motor. Okay, so this better work. Probably about close enough for them to work. So I kind of roughed these two tubes up a little bit because they're probably a little greasy and that'll help the stick tack stick. Alright, so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking one of these and I'm wrapping this around like that. And I'm taking my second one and I'm wrapping it up. Kind of looks like that when you're done. And then pop that open and stick that right in there like that. Now you can see it's not quite sealed inside there. So you'll need to fill in those little divots and stuff where there is no stick tack. And then we can close her up. Be 
the ends all plugged up there. Snip that out. Fold those ends up. So after folding these corners in, test it to see if it's actually airproof or waterproof. Okay, so when I've been blowing in this thing, it uh, hasn't been holding air. So I've just been wrapping a lot of this around by these tubes here. It seems to be where all my leaks are coming from, right around in between these tubes. What a whopping mess that is. I think that just might work. So these tubes have to go through the boat. And I'm just going to kind of guesstimate how far apart they are. Nothing's too precise on here, that's for sure. Not good. Didn't even get them straight. This thing is going to be sitting in the boat like this. pipes don't come out exactly perfect in the back so for now just to try it just going to stick some tape on there to hold that those pipes in place right there so because of the way this tube is bent this is how far it's leaning and it looks like it should be leaning a little further but I'm just going to try it like this for now I'm going to be really surprised if this works I got myself a little uh, bleeder tube right here because what you got to do is get a mouthful of clean water and blow it in until it comes out the other pipe. Alright, that's how you prime it. And I already got water in my boat. Odds of this working. Wrong angle. Not even sure if that thing is sealed all the way. It was once, but I've moved it around a lot since. So this first one is a fail. Those tubes aren't going to work because unless I bend them exactly right, which is not going to happen. And I don't like that stick tack. Just. That's loose right away. Oh good. This time we're going to try the epoxy glue. I think this one's going to work really good. Pop, pop, pop. Going to try the second one here. Oh, I think we got something starting here. <laughs> 